Hey everyone, it's Tiffany Shree, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a question that I get quite often um, on pretty much every video relating to when I worked at the adult store. If you'd like to see other videos relating to when I worked at the adult store, I'll put them in the description box below and also in the co- ah! So let's just dive on in about how I got this job working at the adult store. So after I graduated from college, I moved to Australia and I will be making a video about why I moved to Australia and everything surrounding that move. It's not exactly a fun or funny story. It's actually pretty sad. Um, some of the things that happened led me to have to go to counseling and therapy. I even had to go to court. <laughs> so that was an experience, but I consider it a silver lining. But my initial move to Australia was pretty crappy, but then afterwards I met so many good people, like literally my best friend, um, a lot of my best friends to this day, I met afterwards and from working at the adult store, um, she's gonna be one of my bridesmaids is one of the friends I met from there. I just had a lot of really cool adventures afterwards, but I am so happy that I'm back here and with my family and with my fiance. But let's go back. So I had graduated from college and I moved to Australia and I needed a job. So I had previously worked at a fast food place, also at a library, um, at Claire's. <laughs> so as I said, I didn't really have much work history. A lot of it was in customer service or retail. So when I was applying to jobs in Australia, those were the types of jobs I was applying to, customer service and retail. I preferred to work in an office at the time, but I wasn't opposed to working in like a store or somewhere that sold like clothes or that kind of thing because I was also interested in in-store discounts. When I was younger, I'd always be like, oh, I want a discount at this store, so I'll apply there. So one day I got a phone call from a uh, application I had sent in and it was for a retail superstore. So the way that they listed it was a retail superstore. They said that they sold a variety of items like gifts and clothes and shoes and DVDs, like that kind of stuff. And when you think about it, that's what you sell at an adult store. Like you sell, I mean, they didn't say that they sold personal items or personal massagers or things like that. Um, and they didn't advertise anything about the cinema, but it was a retail superstore. It was a retail store. That's the category of work it was, I guess. I got a call from a woman and she said, would you be interested in coming in for an interview? And I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm looking for work straight away. Like I'm ready to get hired. So on the phone, she did say, I just want to let you know, this is an adult store. Are you okay with that? And I said, yeah, absolutely I am. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm not judgmental. I am consider myself to be pretty mature. So I go to meet them for the interview and it was actually at a mall nearby that they wanted me to meet them at. So the gentleman who owned it, who was my boss, it was his wife who had called me. So I think she started out actually working in the adult store as like someone like me and my friends, like we were just workers in the store and um, I guess him, he and they ended up together. <laughs> so I sit down and I remember one of the first things that happened was I actually had my college ring. I used to wear my college ring and in Australia, like they don't do the rings when you graduate from university or college. So I was sitting there and I had my hands on the table and the guy, the owner who ended up being my boss, he reached over and he like grabbed my hand and he was like, what's this? Why are you going around? You're gonna like knock someone out with this? This looks like a gangster ring. And I was like, oh no, it's just like when you graduate from college, like you get a ring. <laughs> He told me that he was very interested in having foreigners work for him because he said that Americans and people who are not Australian tend to work a lot harder. So a lot of the questions that they asked me were relating to retail environments and customer service. You know, it's important to keep customers coming back in. You want to be approachable. You want to be knowledgeable about the things you're selling. They were interested in knowing that you uh, could merchandise and that you were organized and could multitask and deal with the cash register. <laughs> and balance the cash register at the end of the night, things like that. It was pretty much just like interviewing for any other retail place, like kind of like when I worked for Claire's, it was a very similar interview. When I went to my first shift, I actually started out as a helper during the busy times and then pretty soon after they were like, okay, now you can just work your own shift on your own um, without having a helper. So it was majority of the time we worked on our own, which kind of sucked because we always loved like hanging out with each other. Um, there were so many times where I would stay past my shift to hang out with my friends who had started the next shift after me. I will never forget my first day though. I was working with a woman who I will call Jay and she was kind of like the mama hen of the group. She was a lot older and um, God, I just got reminded of another story. <laughs> 
but I'm writing it down and I'm gonna save it for another time. She was the one who was training me and she took me around the store and showed me everything. I got told about the cinema, how the theater worked. One of the things that she got out of the way immediately because I think she got thrown off whenever she started working there was with regards to the DVDs, they had a binder of DVDs that we kept under the counter that we did not display where the other norm, like you could just walk in and there's just the, the DVD cases. Like normally you'd walk in and you'd walk to the DVD section and there were the cases just all lined up along the walls and everything. And then you'd bring it to us and we'd get the DVD and sell you that. There was a binder of DVDs that we kept under the counter that we did not display um, and they were everything to do with golden showers and like scat. And if you don't know what that is, I don't recommend Googling it. I do not recommend Googling it. Different strokes for different folks. But if you don't know what that is, you probably don't need to. Literally first day walked in like ready to learn, ready to absorb all the knowledge and sell things and merchandise and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay, so if someone wants to look at these DVDs, you have to sit there and flip it for them. And I'm, and I've, I've seen a lot, you know, I just finished college. I had seen quite a bit, but I had not seen that, that some of the things that I saw, I just can't unsee. So it was a pretty interesting uh, first day. I remember my first day alone as well. There was a woman who she ended up quitting shortly after, but she was the one who warned me. She was like, you're gonna have a wanker in the store. It's gonna happen eventually. And I was like, whatever. So if you haven't seen the story about the wankers in the store, I'll put that, that's, that's listed below. So over the course of me working at the adult store, I did have a few like partners or boyfriends. Um, when I first got hired, I was in a relationship and I had asked the person I was in a relationship with like, Hey, this is the thing I'm interviewing for. Like, do you care? Do you mind? And he was like, no, I don't care. Like I've been in stores like that. It seems pretty like regular. It's just like a store. So we thought, but he didn't really care. Like he didn't really care a lot about when I came home and like talked about the job or talked about the crazy things that happened. Um, it was a pretty horrible relationship actually. So, I mean, it doesn't surprise me that he didn't care. Uh, when I broke up with him, I was single and then I was dating a few guys, just like not in a relationship, but going out on dates with a few guys and seeing some people on and off. Um, all of them seemed kind of <sighs> immature, I guess, in the sense that they were like, whoa, I'm, I wouldn't know oh, you work in an adult store. I want to date you. like. They thought that it was kind of cool that I worked at an adult store, which I'm not gonna lie, when my friends and I went out like clubbing and stuff or dancing, it was always fun and funny whenever, like I remember the three of us, we would, or even at one time the four of us, so it was like all, there was even five of us at one time who all of us as friends, we were working there. Um, and we would go out and people would be like, where do you, so what do you guys do for work? And we'd be like, oh, we work at a sex shop. We work at an adult store. <laughs> and they'd be like, what? <laughs> so it was definitely an interesting point of conversation. Then I, towards the end of me working at the adult store, I got in a serious relationship again. He didn't mind as well, but he didn't like it. He was like, I don't care if that's where you wanna work, I support you, but I'd rather you find another job somewhere else. So talking about this has definitely jogged my memory and I'm looking forward to making more videos about where I used to work. I really hope that y'all enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. So again, thank you so much for watching and wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye. Also, we are like this close to 3000 subscribers. Holy crap. That is amazing to me. Like you guys are so amazing. I see all of y'all who comment on almost every video. It is just so cool to get to have that genuine interaction and a lot of those meaningful comments and questions.